Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we want to thank you this morning on this mountain. That, Lord, we are gathered here, God, because of our leaders. Father, we went into erections, and you gave us the right leaders. We understand leadership, and leaders are made in heaven. And these are the leaders, Lord, you gave to us to govern this country, Kenya. Father, how we commit them unto you, O oh, Father, that the Lord shall rule this nation in wisdom. Father, grant them the power to overcome all the challenges in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, we thank you, God, for the president that is with us today, O oh God, Dr. William Samoy Arapluto. I pray that the Lord will instill wisdom in his mind, in his life, O oh God, the power to overcome the challenges of opposition so that our country shall stand and God you shall rule this country through our brother William. We also commend his deputy into your hands, O oh God. As we know and we have seen God, there are the people that you gave us, the people of, of, of your choice, the people that fear you, the leadership that is instilled in your mighty power, that Lord, you shall, you shall, they shall govern this nation through the wisdom that we are to give them. And the ability, God, that is from you, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh, how we commit other leaders unto your hands, O oh God. We have the ministers working under them, O oh God. We have the, 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 the governors in this country, God, led by the, the, the governor of Kirinyaga. We have other leaders, God. We have the MPs, the senators, God. Even the MCAs, how we pray that the Lord unity shall be the issue. When they sit together, Father, we come again the spirit of division. And I commit them unto your hands that you shall make them one unit. Thou shalt govern our Kenya to the destination that we shall be all be proud after the periods that are given, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray for other administration sectors. That the Lord they shall govern, they shall administrate this country. With, with wisdom, oh God, bringing people together to live as one. Uh, all the communities of Kenya to become one nation in the name of Jesus. Oh, how we pray for your grace, for your mercy, oh God. How we pray that, Lord, your guidance with the Holy Spirit, it shall make Kenya a living state in, uh, for, 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 for our people, God. You shall make the children of Kenya to be one unit, God. No segment because all the reason we have given to us, oh Father, is a reason that, that comes from you. Oh, I commit all the leaders unto your hands. I pray that Lord may peace, love, and unity be the issue in our country. And this we pray in the mighty name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Your Excellency. All people gathered in this meeting, I'm Reverend Father John Washida, representing the Catholic Church through my Bishop James Maria Wainaina. And I want to pray on social issues affecting our country. Let us be truly sorry before our God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, a reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Every house is built by someone, but God built everything that exists. It is true that Moses was trustworthy in the household of God as a servant, acting witness to the things which were yet to be revealed. But Jesus Christ is trustworthy as a son and over his household. And we are his household as long as we are fearlessly maintaining the hope in which we glory. That is why the Holy Spirit says, If only you would reason to him today, do not harden your hearts as what at the rebellion, as at the time of testing in the desert, when you, our ancestors, challenged me and put me to the test, and so what I could do for 40 years. That was why that generation sickened me, and I said, always fickle hearts that cannot grasp my ways. And then in my anger I saw that they would not enter to my praise of rest. O God, Almighty Father, creator of heaven and earth, 
You have walked with your people since the creation of this world. You have guided your people through in history, through the prophets, kings, and priests. You have forgiven your people and made them strong nations of faith, love, and hope. Look upon our dear country, Kenya, and our president, Dr. William Samuel Ruto, present here today, his deputy, Regadi Gashagwa, our governor, Ani Waiguru, and all other governors present, senators, women reps, members of national and county assembly, and all readers you have entrusted to your people and gathered here in Kirinyaga today. Look in favor every family in Kenya, for every family rightly calls you, Father. Bring unity in our country, love and prosperity, trust, fidelity, sense of responsibility, parental guidance, cohesion in our families, take away discords, hatred, marriage, and all sibling rivalry away from Kenya. Let's all strive to shun away from property cases, taking others, people's properties, killings, theft, lack of respect of children and elderly, take away moral decadence in our society and any other form of lawlessness, pervasiveness, infidelity, abuses of children and women. Imbue in our Kenyan people the benefits of rule of law, corruption-free country, prosperity, peace, love, and unity. To the individual persons in the whole of this country, read us all from sinful tendencies, drug abuses, cheatings, misuse of God's given power for you and God to bless everybody in Kenya. My dear brothers and sisters, that none of you may even have wicked heart so in believing as to turn our ways from living God. Every day, as long as this day lasts, keep encouraging one another so that none of you is hardened by the lure of sin and this world because we have been granted a share with Christ only if we keep the grasp of our faith fast in confidence and firm to the end. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. A better amen. amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Your Excellency, I'm here to pray for the church. O oh, Supreme God, our God and our Father, we thank you for the universal church, the body of Jesus Christ, that you have built and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it, according to your word in Matthew 16, 18. We specifically thank you, God, for the church in Kenya and all local churches in the Lord. You have united us, the Kirinyaga County, and the country to establish our leadership for the common good of all Kenyans. Unite the church and let, give her wisdom so that she'll be a voice that has direction and goals. Strategize your church, O oh God, in these edge times to spread the gospel for all mankind in fulfillment of the Great Commission. In doing all this, Lord, the church will be able to manifest your manfold wisdom to the powers and to the principalities according to Ephesians 3.10. All this we pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
Thank you, Your Excellency, our President, and all the protocol observed. I'm Esther Kefas on behalf of the Presbyterian Church of East Africa. We are leading on security. Shall we bow for a word of prayer? Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for giving us the gift of life. Thank you for a day that has never been since the creation of the earth. We thank you, Jehovah Lord, that we planned for this day that you've made it to be. We thank you for confiding us. We thank you for the traveling masses from different directions, Lord, and you've made it it possible for us to be the way we are. Above all, we want to thank you for your word that you live to be alive no matter what. Thy word remains and it reminds us that blessed is the nation that makes Lord its king. And we want to thank you, Lord, for you've been our leader. We want to thank you for giving us the commander who is the in chief, our president Luto who is leading in the armed forces, Lord. We pray for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. As he lead on the line of security, Lord, give him wisdom. And all protocol observe on light that line. Lord, lead them. And we know that them who are led by you, they never fail. Lord, we commit Kenya unto you. We commit all our boundaries unto you. We pray, Lord, that Kenya will live ever on your hands. And as far as the security issues are concerned, Lord, you will be our guide. Lord, you will be our key. Lord, you will be our leader. Thy one reminds us, Lord, is all in faith to God at night without you. That's why we are keeping you to be our guide. That's why we are hoping on you. And all will be possible with you. For them that are led by you, they never fail. We thank you and we honor you. And to your holy hands we surrender. And to your holy hands, Lord, we live. This being our prayer of faith in Jesus' mighty and holy name we pray. Amen. Thank you very much. To crown up everything, I would